Hello, this is a virtual pathology specimen of a slice of the kidney from a case of xanthogranulomatous pyelonephritis. Let's orientate ourselves. Here we have the perinephric fat. This is the cortex of the kidney. And this is the area of the medulla with the renal pelvis. We can see that there are many nodular areas of yellowish discoloration in the region of the renal medulla and these are interspersed with areas of necrosis and here again and we can also see whitish areas which represent fibrosis these whitish areas also extend to the renal capsule and into the perinephric fat Xanthogranulomatous pyelonephritis can cause these mass-like lesions, which can sometimes be mistaken for tumors on imaging. Let's learn a bit more about xanthogranulomatous pyelonephritis. This is a type of chronic pyelonephritis which is associated with obstruction with superimposed infection. What can cause this obstruction would be congenital pelvic abnormalities or nephrolithiasis. Risk factors include diabetes, hypertension, an immunocompromised state, abnormal lipid metabolism, and renal transplant patients. What happens is that the body is not able to get rid of bacterial organisms or infective organisms leading to the accumulation of large numbers of lipid-laden macrophages. So clinically, the kidney may be non-functional depending on the extent of parenchymal damage. There may be flank pain and renal angle tenderness as well as dysuria. And there may also be a palpable abdominal mass. Systemic symptoms such as fever may be present as well. Grossly, there are mass-like areas of yellow to orange discoloration. And as mentioned earlier, these can be mistaken for tumors on imaging. There is a dilated pelvic callicle system with necrotic debris, and there may also be fibrosis. We can see here these whitish areas of fibrosis, and this may extend beyond the renal capsule into the perinephric fat. In severe cases, there may even be fistula formation with intra-abdominal organs and even the skin. Microscopically, there is granulation tissue accompanied by sheets of foamy macrophages, and this gives the yellow-orange color grossly. There are often cholesterol clefts, foreign body giant cells, and fibrosis. And this fibrosis may be accompanied by lymphoid follicles, sometimes bacterial organisms and mixed inflammatory cells, as well as calcification, can also be seen. Hence, in summary, this is an example of xanthogranulomatous pyelonephritis, and this is evidenced by mass-like areas of yellow to orange discoloration, which is due to the accumulation of lipid-laden macrophages. There may be accompanying necrosis, as well as dilatation of the pelvic callicle system, and also fibrosis, and this is seen better on this surface. We can appreciate these almost paler whitish areas of fibrosis, which can extend beyond the renal capsule into the perinephric fat. This virtual pathology specimen is taken from our Virtual Pathology Museum, and this is part of PathWeb, our free online pathology learning resource. You can register for free, and the link is in the video description. If you scroll down on this page, you will see additional information such as clinical vignettes, gross descriptions, and also annotated images. Thank you.